you a stretch for the inside of the hips. Now, I was watching a show on PBS. They're in a uh, uh, senior living facility, and they're doing an assessment for hip mobility. And one of the assessment was, are you able to sit on the floor with your knees touching the floor, rest your knees to the floor? Most of the world can sit in this position um, because of uh, daily use activity. Uh, often, these muscles are really, really tight. I'm noticing now um, community center programs, lots of new people, and people, their knees are up in this position. Now it's hard to even uh, stretch the outside of the hip. So I'm going to show you the stretch, how to stretch the inside of the hips. This is the short head of the hip adductor. I'm going to show you a solo stretch. You can do this any place, anytime. So if you have a seat on the floor and we're in here, or maybe one side's even higher, um, you can bring your heels together in this position. Um, these muscles are really tight and it's it interfering with overall mobility. We don't want any... Um, injuries to occur because of that. Now, for lack of mobility in the hip, that rotational force could go down into the knee or up to the low back. We don't want that. Um, so what you can do is I'm going to show you it's called a squash frog. I'm going to show you from a couple different angles so you can see. And I'm also going to mention some of the mistakes I noticed and how you can avoid those mistakes. So we are going to uh, kneel on something, something slippery is a little bit better. You know, your hardwood floor, laminate floor, if you have um, a nice slippery fitness mat like this will work. If you have something comfortable to kneel on, uh, just some towels or soft yoga blocks, you can take some clothes off the couch. So I'm going to place my knees on here because now they slide out really easy. It makes it easy to stretch. The important part, toes pointed to the outside. So we don't want the top of the foot to the floor, we want the inside of our feet to the floor. So you can see that there. I'm going to bring my elbows to the floor. That way my shoulders don't fatigue. I'm going to slide my knees out to the side. I might need have to take my hand one at a time to uh, push the knees out. That's how you increase the stretch. And we want to find the most challenging position. So I'm going to push my hips back towards my heel and just rock forward. Back. See how that feels. If you push your hips back towards the heels and the stretch gets more intense, congratulations. That's your tender point. We're going to focus on that position. Now I'm just going to change the angle so you can see, hopefully a little bit better. I'm just going to turn to the side. Again, place on my knees, something that's soft and cozy. Toes pointed to the outside. Dropping my elbows to the floor so my shoulders don't get fatigued. And I'm pushing the hips back and forward. As you push the hips back, for me, that's the most challenging position. That's my tender point. So I'm going to focus on that tender point. And I encourage you to focus on that tender point. Now, if you want to just practice the whole relax technique, you can hold this position, enjoy this. Now, for the contractions, we're going to think about adduction, which means we're going to squeeze our knees together. An ideal contraction is about six seconds. So I'm going to squeeze the knees together. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. No more squeezing in. We're breathing out. To so breathe out, sliding my knees out, pushing the hips back to re-stretch. We can practice that again, squeezing the knees together. Come on, let the knees move together. From five, four, three, two, and one. Big exhale, breathe out. As we breathe out, we're letting gravity guide us to the floor, our hips to the floor. We can slide those knees out. Again, find the most challenging position. Practice that one more time, squeezing the knees together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, let gravity guide you flat to the floor. When we're all done, we can army crawl forward. Lowering your tummy to the floor. We can slide our knees together. And that's the most graceful way to get out of that stretch. That's the squash frog stretch for the short head of the hip adductors. I hope it helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. Trish therapy classes are available to help you. I'm also available to help you one-on-one -on -one as well. Have a great day.